Capricorn, welcome into your Tassiomancy, in other words, tea leaf reading and tarot reading uh, for today. We are looking at the tea leaves as well, together with your tarot cards to get a bit of bigger picture of what might be happening, where blockages may be occurring and time frames, even things like initials or little uh, uh, images that may come up in your in your tea leaf that may correlate with the tarot cards. So let's get in here. Do remember, please, Capricorn, this is a general reading. If it does resonate with you, please do um, let me know. Hit that thumbs up button and let me know. If not, please do check your rising moon and Venus. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, you can contact me. My email is below in the description box. So let's have a look and see what cards are coming up for you in this reading. We have got life's purpose and ooh, the gift of freedom. That's nice. I don't know. I like freedom. Um, life's purpose. Let's see what this is about. Seek your own deeper version for life. Okay, so you've got to follow your own path here. You've got to do things in your way and not the way that everybody else wants you to do things and the way that the rules and regulations are set up. Okay, and it's something that is involving the gift of freedom. All right, you you know, um, I just picked I just heard spirit guide saying you may feel as if you are owned or you, you feel as if you are owned, you know, you, the, that world is owning you in some kind of way. Mm, you must go do research on that. We are kind of <laughs> owned by the world, okay? Um, we are a human resource, a uh, gift of freedom. It says a break away from your attachments. Mm -hmm. So there could be some people here, there could be situations here, things that you are doing, things that you are addicted to. Yes, we all have our little addictions. Definitely mine is coffee. So I'm cutting back on the coffee, hence with tea, re tea leaf readings. Um, I have to cut back on that. It is not, it's causing me to be drained when I'm not meant to be drained and full of energy when I'm not meant to be full of energy. But attachments can be a lot of different things. Attachments can be emotional attachments. They can be attachments to people that you cannot release or let go of. They can be um, attachments to your cell phone. A lot of people have got major attachments to their cell phones. They've got attachments to social media, to gaming, to TV. And these things we need to keep under control. It must not control us we must control it there could be people here um that you may be having to release here and do things in your own way and find your own path okay let's see what the main energies are coming in you've got a page of cups coming in here a high priestess love that a queen of cups as well wow okay a devil card there you are showing up in your reading capricorn the devil card has come in Let's see what else will show up here for you. And the star card. And we've got Aquarius coming into your reading as well. So there's a new path that you are taking here. And I feel like for some of you guys, this could be love. It could be a relationship as well that wants to come in. And you may have to let go of uh, anything from your past that we are moving into Mercury retrograde. So there could be a person trying to come back in here from your past. Okay, I'm just letting you know. We are going to see now what's going on in the tarot before I begin Apologies, sometimes the teacup does click and clack and make noises, okay, and my camera is very, very um, sensitive, so it may pick that up quickly. So if it screeches and things, I do apologize. Let's turn this teacup for you and see how this is going to be revealed. How will it be for you? So we are going to start off with the page of cups there. It does have two separate meanings for me, and I want to explain to you what that is. Look at all that you are leaving behind. What is left? I'm just saying, what's left in your teacup? You got, you're really opening up your world here. Ooh, and this is happening extremely fast. So there's a little rabbit in your teacup there. This is happening extremely fast. This is fast movement that's taking place. I feel as if you, that's what you're leaving behind. That's attachments. That's what's not longer working for you. There's a lot of stuff here that you were... Uh, doing there's a lot of things a lot of people that were around you it's almost like you're doing emotional spiritual and life housekeeping and you're just removing all of these things this is very very good you know if i could give your year 
a, a title. Your year would be housekeeping. You know, I would be housekeeping my life. I would be simplifying absolutely anything and everything around me that I feel is a burden, that I feel does not give me freedom, that I feel is weighing me down, that's causing me problems, everything. And that is why the High Priestess has come into your reading. It is time to look at your energy. It is time to look at everything around you from a spiritual point of view. Because there is a cleansing, look at that, that is taking place in your energy. Allow it to be. Sometimes you might find people leave your life here. People walk away from your energy. They leave you behind. We've got somebody here with a name, with a, or there's an initial of M coming in here twice, I'm just saying. Um, let's see what else I can pick up there. Hmm. We've got an a M, we've got a V, even an N that I've noticed there. A M, a V, an N. That is so interesting. You've got a lot of people that you are leaving behind here. Some people may have left your life as well. You try to bring them back in, but they just kept on leaving you. And um, I feel like that is okay. Let them go. This is you know, what I'm noticing in the past energy over there. I see birds flying away from you here, but it's okay. Let those people go. Let the birds fly away. I do feel like there was a bit of a moment here in your past where... I don't know what happened. I don't know if you had an injury in the past year or you fell or you had maybe an injury, you hurt yourself where you cut yourself or you hurt your ankle or you tripped over or somebody around you have an injury of some sort or they fell and tripped over. There's an energy of that. That's showing up in your reading quite interestingly enough. I feel like if that was you, especially yeah, I'm seeing it kind of twice or there was an accident of some sort. I feel like if that was you, it was sometimes I will tell you something. Events take place almost like in a moment and um, it's like when a crystal breaks so a crystal i had a beautiful crystal i've had it for many many years it's a hematite it's got some writing on it it's beautiful it's a necklace i think i've had it for like maybe nine or ten years and randomly i never work with this crystal and i was moving my crystals around and it broke and shattered into like five six different pieces and um, i took them and whenever they break like that i know that something major was uh, prevented from getting to me depending on what crystal it is and it was a protection that was taking place so I take all the broken pieces and I put them in all my pot plants all over the house you know so they can go back to the mother and um, I feel that in your energy something like this took place in your energy like an event that take place here that was almost like a a releasing uh, a change in energy and sometimes these things can look like things breaking or even injuries that take place so i do feel like something did happen to you and there is an open energy after this when this took place it's like a moment of quiet you may have felt like your year was a bit of a quiet year congratulations <laughs> i'm just saying or even like a lot of a lot of things were happening and you i don't know i feel like this is a very good teacup reading i like to see a lot of space happening in here i do see in about a couple of weeks down the line into the new year sort of events are going to start taking place here i do see like this motivation coming back in there for you which i'm really enjoying to see that i did see like almost like a little rabbit i keep noticing like a little rabbit energy over there there's an arrow here as well you are going to know the direction that you are taking there is something i just want to tell you about a little bit of a thing that I'll tell you um, with the high priestess coming in here it's you've got clarity now with regards to what it is you want to do I feel as if you're going to know your life's purpose look at the colors of the cards they're so similar you're going to know your life's purpose you're going to know where you're going you're going to know exactly what it is you want to create what it is you um uh, want to see in your life and your mind knows exactly where you're moving into the future you've got clarity coming in here with the devil energy i want to see something about that with the devil energy i want to go back to what i noticed here i do see unexpectedly somebody from your past almost like coming into your energy I see a little frog jumping here. It's like they want to jump from here into your future energy. I do feel like it's attached to the devil energy, even though this is your zodiac sign. But I feel like this is an offer maybe that they're coming into wanting to give you um, with regards to maybe reconnecting or love or any of those kind of things. I also see a J and a V coming up here in initials as well. So this could be in June 
during this year um it could even be uh with regards it, and if, i don't know why but i keep on feeling like tuesday for some reason tuesday like something's gonna happen on a tuesday don't ask me why just be aware that we are also moving into mercury retrograde there could be people coming in at this time as well um i feel a caution yeah with regards to this person I almost feel like a caution with regards to this person. Be careful with regards to this person if they do come back in. I don't feel, and I'm not picking up on like a positive energy from this because of all this that has fallen here. It kind of gives me this feeling like this person caused, caused tears inside of you. They, this person made you cry. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm picking up on a lot of like teardrops here. And I did notice that one of the little drop of uh, tea was running down the side of the card right near this energy. And with this, I will tell you, you do have a person that is coming in here. There is a person coming in here. I notice an arrow pointing forward. I also notice a little heart in your, your teacup as well. A little bit in the future, yeah, like in your future, there is a heart energy there. And this person is coming in towards you. Um, you got love coming in in 2023. I'm going to tell you, you do have love coming in in 2023 for you. And I feel as if you are meeting a brand new person here, or you're having the situation where um, if you had somebody you were you kind of interested in, it's now becoming something more. But the warning would be, don't let anybody from the past come back in here, because it's really talking about letting go and breaking free from all the attachments that are holding you back. But this has got to do with relationships, and this has got to do with your direction in life so i also feel as if you have this new direction that you want to take it's something that is still going to come to you while you are in this energy very clear energy coming in here i do see you protecting yourself from someone from the past here again it's showing up in your reading because i see a little sword over there it's like you're protecting yourself from somebody coming in here wanting to come into your future do that protect yourself and you are moving into a beautiful energy here uh, um just for some of you as well if you are studying or if you want to study um really put your head into the books <laughs> there's somebody reading a book over there it's almost like their head is buried in a book so if you are studying put your head into the books if you really are wanting to take a course or improve your skills in some kind of way i would say really really do that because the outcome will be very good for you throughout the year with regards to such things otherwise there we go thank you so much capricorn for coming into the reading i hope that this helps and guides you and i hope that you do find the gift of freedom as you are moving forward i'm sending my love to you bye